International Coalition Against Electronic Torture and Robotization of Living Beings. In short, ICATO. Dear participants, to the second conference, Project Earth, with a special focus on cyborgs and super soldiers living in Warsaw. Well, I will tell you this. They live all over the world. In every country of our planet, around the globe, hundreds of thousands of law-abiding citizens, innocent children, women and men, are tortured to death by clandestine forces, rogue elements of military and intelligence agencies, but increasingly also private investigators and surveillance companies purposely engaging in acts of terrorism. These acts of warfare against the general public consist in inducing psychological terror campaigns as well as physical injuries to the victims. It's a new form of domestic terrorism designed to damage the civilian population's health through emission of dangerous radio frequencies from both ground and satellite-based installations causing lethal microwave radiation illness. But before I dig deeper into the rabbit hole of crime, in shedding the light of truth in all of its dark abysses of black operations and crevices of lawlessness, let me introduce myself. My name is Melanie Fritschern. I live in Brussels and I'm a victim of electronic and domestic terrorism with lethal intentions. This entails non-consensual experimentation with nanotechnology implant weapons all over my body. Constant torture with directed energy weapons wherever I go. Progressive remote strangulation with a deadly black silicon elastomer in my throat developed by DARPA for which I have medical evidence clearly showing the modifications caused to my bone structure as well as psychological terror and harassment campaigns aimed at illegally surveilling, intim intimidating by threats and vandalization of property, discrediting and disrupting my work and daily domestic tasks and activities. International Coalition Against Electronic Torture and Robotization of Living Being. In short, ICATOR. As such, I'm testifying today as the president of a newly created not-for-profit association called the International Coalition Against Torture and Electronic Torture and Robotization of Living Beings, in short, ICATOR. ICATOR is committed to raising awareness to the problem of non-consensual experimentation using remote influencing technologies and techniques on the human mind and body. We propose clear ethical boundaries to re regulate their use. We are part of the World Cash Network, in which I also have the honor to serve as one of its vice chairs, with which we share this, the same organizational goals. We are saving, serving World Cash's global network and its members in acting as a lobbying and advocacy, pl advocacy platform towards the EU right here in its capital. And, as you can see, besides the official documents proving our legal establishment with the Tribunal of Commerce in Brussels, we have taken the liberty of blending in also our bank details uh, to give our viewers the opportunity to support ICATO's work with a donation. In doing so, you are literally investing 
in the survival of humanity on this planet. In the course of this presentation, I hope to be able to prove to you that we are worthy of your valuable contribution in giving you concrete examples, supported by video footage, on how ICATOR achieves its principal organizational goal. Influence EU legislation and the decision-making process in calling for a worldwide ban on weapons that might enable any form of manipulation of sentient living beings. After our participation to a very successful International Day Against Mind Control, celebrated on 8th of February as a memorial to Dr. Rani Kilde, skillfully organized by our Polish partners from the association StopSet and to Truth News Television and TV, ICATO started preparations for its participation to another awareness raising event in the framework of this pressing human rights campaign. On the occasion of the International Targeted uh, Individual Awareness Day, and uh, you can consult the, uh, the attached link, celebrated on 15th of March around the world as a peaceful protest, all of ICATOR's administrators and founding members gathered in the European Parliament to attend the annual STOA workshop on the importance of research in neuroscience in the uh, framework of the Brain Awareness Week. As such, we will see here the opening and closing remarks at this event made by the moderator, Ms. Marina Ventivoglio, from the University of Verona, and by Mr. Paul Rubik, MEP and STOA Chair. ICATOR's members spoke to all of the speakers at the event and distributed flyers, business cards and other information material. activity which takes place cross border and more and more we not only do it within European Union to cross I personally spoke to Mr. Rubik making him aware of the urgent need to create appropriate EU legislation to protect our citizens from these black operations, covered crimes and increasingly frequent and violent acts of domestic terrorism. Finally, you can see on these images a discussion between ICATOR's Vice Chair Luc Vervliet and Ms. Bentivoglio about the importance on, of the provision of sufficient regulations and safeguards to guarantee the respect of high ethical standards in modern brain research. In his argumentation, Mr. Vervliet reminded the audience once again about non-maleficence as one of the principal precepts of bioethics that all healthcare students are taught in school as a fundamental principle throughout the world. Primum non nocere. First, do no harm. Chose then about repairing damages. And um, my favorite impression, because uh, genetic engineering is good and bad, meaning good for research, bad if you interfere. It's just to understand the causes, because genetics is in fact information collection throughout the road, even throughout different generations. So if you understand what's happening as traumas, as emotions, having effects on, on, the, the, on your body, then you can interfere in a natural way and not hidden. Okay, yes. Is it a question? It's not a question, it's a reflection. Yeah, it's a comment. Thank you very yeah. much for the comment. 
I think he must leave the stage to the European Parliament, <laughs> who has been uh, so kind to be uh, the entire session. Uh, I think we should thank our speaker, who really made a big <laughs> effort. I just would like to leave you with a, as a very, very small personal contribution uh, as a, a, with this debate about basic and so-called translational research. With the Other important contacts were made with Bernard, Mr. Bernard Den, pedopsychiatrist from the European Academy of Childhood Disabilities in Brussels, as well as with Ms. Mara Diersen from the Center for Genomic Regulation in Barcelona. We hope to follow these up with an appointment and or a conference in the near future. To finish, I will announce that we are indeed currently in the early planning phase for a new covered harassment conference to be held this fall in one of the major cities of the Benelux region. The exact venue is still to be determined. Further details will be announced very soon. Thank you very much for your attention.